Oh. There are people who study the handwriting of other people in order to determine their personality. Get a real job! You know that little tab on the rear view mirror that helps you avoid the glare on the headlights from the car behind you? Why don't we have it for the side mirrors? The rear view mirror tab is useless if it gets glares from the sides of you. Hello, engineers! Meanwhile, you're trying to develop paddle shifters, and these 12 buttons on the steering wheel help you answer your cell phone. You ever see some of these niggers and spicks? Sometimes these chinks walking around with these gold stickers on top of their baseball caps telling you what inch size their head is. Hey, spick and nigger, why don't you walk around with a gold stick on your crotch and say, one inch? Some guy was sitting there around a couple of feet away. He was sitting there, and he was tapping his fingers on the table. Tapping his fingers on the table, and then some waitress comes over. He folds his arms over his chest and says, I have been sitting here for three hours without any service. Three fucking hours you've been sitting there? Hello? Are you fucking dumb? There's this guy at Walgreens standing in the medication toothbrush section. He's been pushing this help service button for an hour. He says that to one of those uh, salespeople. I've been pressing this for an hour. Does this thing even work? Why don't you go up to one of the employees and ask for help, you idiot? Some people are fucking dumb. It's like they're proud of this crap. Like they've been running a marathon. I've been standing here for an hour pushing this button. Jesus Christ. We need to get rid of these fat desks. A lot of these classrooms, they have at least one so-called fat desk. So a fat fucking sit there, whether it be a man or a woman. So here's this fat black nigger woman that's old, old as fuck, coming out of the Burlington Coat Factory store. And I'm standing there, okay, I'm outside the door. I'm about to open the door, and I see her walking out of the door. She has these two packages in her hands. She has these giant fat ass that sticks out about two feet away from her spine. It's huge! So then, she's trying to wiggle her way out of the door, pushing and, you know, trying to get the door open with two giant packages of bags in her hands. And then she looks at, she doesn't even look at me. Okay, and I'm standing there. I'm not gonna open the door for her because she, you know, she looks like a bitch. So then she says to the air, okay, we're the only two people there, but she's talking to the air, okay, like she wants to make it seem like I wasn't trained well by my fucking parents, okay? I know what to do, I know how to hold doors open for people, but I only do it to people that I like. So she says this to me, or to the air, quote, you should be holding the door for me. Why am I using my bottom and back to hold the door for me, end quote. So I don't say anything. I just wait for her to leave, and then I open the door for myself, bitch. Okay, number one, if you act like that, you are not going to have a husband. Okay? No one wants to hang out with someone like that. And yes, there was no man with her. So either her husband's dead, or she's not married. Who the hell wants to marry a bitch like that? And obviously, if you talk like that to me, I'm not gonna hold the door open for you. Even if I see you again! I'm still at Burlington Coat Factory. There's this, this, you know, Mexican beaner guy. He's buying three suits. I think maybe 10 packs of underwear. He has all this underwear and undershirts in this cart. So he has three suits uh, that come out to $600 total, okay? Fucking total. Three suits for $600. You know what a bargain that is? You go buy, I don't know, a Dior suit. It's like uh, maybe two or three thousand dollars for one suit. You come here, it's three suits for 600 bucks, and you can't afford it! He's asking the salesperson, how much was that? How much was this? Can you add up the totals in your head so I can, you know, calculate it over here? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know if I can afford it. Okay? He can't afford three suits for $600. Put aside two suits and buy one! These people can't add. First of all, you're going to what this Burlington Coat Factory. It's one of the cheapest stores in the city that you can buy clothes. A lot of the spicks go there and niggers because you can't afford other clothes. I go there just because I like some of their jackets and they're really, really cheap. 
So here's a quote from someone else. Quote, an underbite refers to grim determination, a major indicator of extreme competitiveness. You know what I say? Fuck you! So in order to help the students and, I don't know, the economy, university presidents in the United States, these are, or maybe, for example, California universities, the presidents of these universities are voluntarily taking a 5% pay cut. 5%! These people make about $900,000 a year. You know what they need? They need a 60 or 80% pay cut. That's right! This past Sunday, I went to go see Phantom of the Opera. I really enjoyed it. This was my second time going. I will go again when they come back around to San Francisco, okay? They are open until January, but I'm just gonna wait another year to go because I really enjoyed it. So I was in the orchestra seat, I think the ninth row from the front, which is really cool. Last time I went, I was in the balcony seats. Those were only $35. So the orchestra seats was $100. I originally was going to go by myself, but then my sister wanted to go. Well, she didn't really want to go. She said, why didn't you ask me if I wanted to go? So I said, okay, I will get you a ticket online. So obviously we're not gonna sit in the same place or next to each other because I bought the tickets separately and I bought a single seat for myself. So if I try to buy another ticket, it's going to be in a different place. So I look for a ticket for her. She's sitting in a different area in the orchestra section. $100. So we get there, okay? We get to the theater. And then she says to me before the show starts, she says, I'm going to ask you a dumb question. What is this about? Oh, fuck. First, okay, you spend $100 on a ticket. First of all, it's the Phantom of the Opera. Everyone knows what that's about if you're semi-intelligent, okay? Second of all, you buy a $100 ticket. It is one of the most expensive seats in the theater, and you don't know what it's about? And you tell me you want it to go? Okay, you pester me saying, why didn't you invite me? You don't even know what it's about! Okay? She doesn't want to go. She just wants something to do. So I tell her it's about, okay? And then after the show, she says, Now I'm going to get that stupid song stuck in my head. Stupid song? Are you fucking kidding me? You pester me to go. You pay $100 for a seat. You don't know what it's about. And now you say it's a stupid song? Get the fuck out of here. So obviously, I'm not going to tell her all of this, because it'll just get her upset. I'm just telling you, because I don't want you to do the same to your siblings, okay? If you're ignorant about what sort of musical you're going to, and you're going to pay $100 for a ticket, you don't even know what it's about, don't go! I'm pretty sure I'll make another video before the new year. If I don't, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you next year.